Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I was playing around today when I was waiting for a job to run on the laser, and I drew this. So I thought I'd show you this was really engraved, really good. I haven't engraved it yet, but I think it'll be really cool design to to use on your laser or if you're sublimation or a printer. Uh, you could do this with color in the blend tool. But this is how I did it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how we do it. I'm going to hold down the control button and grab a circle. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to grab another one holding down the control button. I'm going to put P. Now we need to make some indexing lines or indexing hash marks or whatever you want to call them. Let's get the two-point line. Draw a, hold down your control button to get a parallel line. Hit P. And now let's move that line. Start moving and then hold down your control button. Just don't get too close to your edge. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move your rotation to the center. Rotate it 120 degrees. Control D. Now you've got four hash marks. Now we need to bring in our indexing line and hit P. Because we need to measure this measurement right here to make the next circle. So go from that quadrant along your indexing line to that quadrant. And we've got 12.08. So if you just remember that, you can delete that, draw another circle. And since my ratio is locked right here, I'm going to type in 12.08. And then hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now this is why we use the indexing lines. I'm going to take the see when you when you click on the edge and you get the four arrows, just have it snap to that. Pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect. Control D and make a duplicate of that and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Grab this one right here with the four. Just move it straight up, control D, P, put it in the center of the page, wait till you get the four arrows and move it close to that. Now we can get rid of this line. Get rid of these lines and we don't need them anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use this one because I've made the lines black and it might be a little bit easier to, for you to follow along. So we're going to take now, we're going to take the Smart Fill tool. Now there are 12 holes, 12 different sections. So we're going to grab the Smart Fill tool and pick a color besides black. And we're going to fill in that. Okay, I've got a leak somewhere. Tell you what, let's go back and use the other one. We don't have to put it in the center of the page. I was going to use it because you, you could probably see it better, but fill in that one. You need four, two, three, four. Okay. Let's zoom in here. Grab our smart fill tool. Let's get a different color. Let's use this orange. And we're going to click one, two, One, two, three, four. Now grab another color. Let's use yellow. One, two, three, four. Whoop. I got a little leak there, I think. Tell you what, let's back up. Sometimes if you have a leak, see, that worked that time. So we've got four different Three different colors with four different spaces. Our circle is about 14 inches. So we're going to change our nudge distance to 16 inches. We're going to grab that orange and move it over. We're going to grab that orange and move it over. We're going to grab our four oranges. Now we're going to grab our four browns and we're going to move them down. Then we're going to grab our four yellows and we're going to move them to the left. We don't need this anymore, but we're going to keep it. We're going to weld this together. That didn't work. 
Let's try this. Let's try selecting it. No fill. Now let's weld it. Oh, I'm off somehow, somewhere. Let's try. Let's zoom in here. When I did this outside, it worked perfectly. Let's put no. You know, let's delete these lines. Let's use the virtual segment delete key and delete that line, delete that line, delete that line. And that's, and I think I'm off just a hair somewhere. So now we can possibly weld this together. Okay, we did it. Now take this one and weld it. Let's take away the color. We don't need the color. One more time, weld this one, take away the color. Now we got four different or three different ones. Let's move this out of the way. We're going to use black and we're going to use a five point line. And then we're going to go up to effects, contour. We're going to contour Well, we need to fill this in and then move it over. Now we can take away the fill and now we can contour to the inside 0 0.001 with white. Sometimes when you change the color, you got to do this. So we're going from black to white. We don't need this one anymore. We're going to do that again on this one. And we're going to do that again on this one. Now just move that one up. And sometimes when you've got a contour like that, it gives you a little bit of trouble. We're just going to click on it, move it over. Click on it, move it over. Twice, because we moved it twice. And there is that 3D. Now, there's a lot of things you could do with this. You could... Uh, Put some things in the center, but you need to select it off. You're going to run this on 3D and go up to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap and convert it to a grayscale and hit OK. What that does, it it fuzzies it up a little bit and makes it run better. So this white line would not be a, a definite white line. It's such it's a big circle, so it's taking some time. And just a word of warning, this. If you're going to, if you watch my other videos on 3D, it takes pretty good time to run. So you would maybe want to make this just a two inch circle, but you do have to convert it to a bitmap. So you might want to, my laptop's getting slow and old, um, but you might want to make it smaller first before you convert it to a bitmap, but that will engrave really, really good. I'm going to test it tomorrow. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.